Oh boy, seems like every other month now we've got something popping up in the news media, putting extreme pressure on YouTube to change or fix some policy at the threat of advertisers taking their ads off site, potentially jeopardizing creators like myself and our ability to monetize videos. Yeah, this month's no different. Admittedly, I didn't pay too much attention in the beginning because I was like, all right, here's another thing going on just like the month before it and the month before that. And then I saw an article that was Disney is pulling its funds off of YouTube. And I was like, oh, turns out this is kind of serious. Do we have Adpocalypse 2.0 on our hands right now? Maybe we do. So let me get you caught up if you're not entirely filled in on what's going on. So a couple weeks back, there was a YouTuber who made a video that was highlighting an issue, a major issue, with the comment section on videos featuring young children doing completely innocent things. There's nothing wrong with those videos themselves. They could be playing a board game, doing gymnastics, doing an arts and crafts project, and you might see in the comment section on those videos really like beyond, beyond inappropriate, disgusting comments, creepy comments from people who need to get genuine help. Like it's it's really, really bad stuff, and I want to just say I'm not in any way downplaying the severity of those comments, and I don't think they should be there. I just want to be very clear and upfront about that. Anyway, this video ended up getting to, I think it might be the top post of all time on the Reddit video section, and there was a call to action in the video of like, make sure you share this with news outlets and basically any outlet that you can come up with. And as such, it got huge amounts of traction, and the result was companies like Disney deciding to pull their ads off of YouTube. Now again, I don't want to downplay that this is a problem in the comments section on these videos, and these comments shouldn't be here, but it's like, man, I don't, <laughs> I don't know where you draw the line of like how far down deep into the UGC YouTube has to be able to police precisely in order to satisfy everyone. I mean, there comes a point when your website is completely based off of user-generated content in both the videos and the comments, where you simply can't entirely robotically, algorithmically police everything without just like completely shutting it off. It's just, it started off with, you know, the adpocalypse back a couple of years ago that, okay, YouTube started implementing stricter policies on the video uploads themselves so that advertisers could feel more comfortable knowing that their ads were gonna be displayed on content that wouldn't be super edgy, controversial. And they've been still working at that uh, since then, YouTube has, to try to refine that system. And it still makes errors, and I've had my sh fair share of grievances with it. I understand why they're doing it. If I was an advertiser and I was spending my own money to put ads on content, I would want to be very granular with what exactly I'm getting my ads placed on. If you're spending money, you have every right to make those determinations. But okay, that's in response to the video content itself, which the ads are being directly placed on. When it comes to the comments on that video content, it's like, man, from two sides, A, how can YouTube completely police text? There are so many different combinations. They, I mean, they implemented the word filter a few years back when they integrated comments with Google+, and now they're trying to get them separated, which is a whole different story. But anyway, that was a step, but they also included links at that time, which I, I'm pretty sure I've disabled links in my comment section, except when I, I post a comment. So most channels, I recommend just disabling links in comment section. I don't think many links that are put there are anything productive other than spam. But other than like adding a blocked word filter and things like that, I just, how do you algorithmically police? Because a lot of these like really bad comments on kids' videos, they're just time codes. It'll be links to time codes in the video that I, just, I don't really want to like describe what they're alluding to with the time codes, but it'll be like an emoji and some time codes. It's like, how do you, how do you police that? I get that this is not good to have happen on the video, but I don't know how, how does YouTube do anything about that on a site where they allow comments, right? That's my problem with this whole situation is just from a technical perspective, how do you actually go about dealing with that? And then from the other side, it's like advertisers, you got to realize that when you display your ads on a video, you're not aligning with the comments that are on those video. There are plenty of comments on videos of my own that 
are mean, that that disagree with things going on in the video that say hateful things that might not have anything to do with the video. It happens on any website that allows for user-generated text anywhere. There's going to be bad things that people write. And I think most people are mindful enough to realize that like when you display your ad on the video, you're not also aligning with the comments on that video, right? It's like, I get it, you wanna be able to select your content, but you can't, you can't then also police the comments which come from a massive spectrum of, of opinions or people who just wanna be edgy and, and troll. There's no real way around that unless you simply disable comments across the board. And unfortunately, that's sort of what YouTube has had to do as a knee-jerk response to the advertisers being like, whoa, 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 we see this video highlighting this issue with comments on videos featuring kids, and we're gonna pull our funds away, and YouTube goes, okay, well, I mean, we'll disable comments. So there have been family channels that have seen their entire comment section channel-wide on every video immediately disabled as a result. And the, the creators have not had any say in this matter, any control over it. And it's like, wow, that's like, <laughs> I see why YouTube is panicking, like they don't want the advertisers to go away, but to just completely disable comments is like, I, that's a very extreme response. And it also sets a really, really bad precedent wherein if you brigade someone's channel maliciously, can you just cause them to get all their comments disabled? And I don't even like to say that out loud at the risk of potentially someone out there being like, oh, I didn't think about that. Let me put that to use. But it's, that's kind of the, the scary implication, is that you could actually maliciously target someone and put comments that you know YouTube has disabled other channels for in the hopes of sabotaging that person's channel. And all all this is from, like, you know, kind of a call to action to, you know, get get this spread to the advertisers directly to make them panic and think that if they keep spending their dollars on YouTube that the public is gonna be like, whoa, you support this platform that doesn't do anything about these comments that are on videos featuring kids? And it's like, I just, I don't think that's how most people view this. I think most people rationally see that it's very difficult on such a gigantic scale to effectively police text that anybody with an account can write. There are going to be some disgusting things that happen in the comment section, and I don't agree with those. Once again, I really don't want anyone to like twist my words and be like, he supports this these creepy pedophilic comments that are on these videos. No, I don't. But when I'm looking at it from a technical perspective, it's like, how do you actually completely rid the site of that problem? I don't see how you do it. So there comes a point where you know, any advertiser just has to realize that on a site with user-generated content from a variety of sources, there's going to occasionally be things that are not gonna line up exactly with what you're looking for, right? But it seems like, you know, if YouTube can at least nail down the video side so that advertisers aren't advertising on things that they completely find controversial and too edgy for their brand, like, that's all you can really hope for. <laughs> You can't also completely wash the comments section squeaky clean without disabling them. And I don't think disabling comments is the right approach. Comments are a pretty essential part of YouTube. And while certainly I'm sure the engineers at Google are far smarter than I am and they can come up with things that are going to help the problem, is there really a way to completely eliminate it? Like right when Google Plus was integrated with YouTube comments, there was that whole like just monstrous amounts of spam that was going on. And YouTube did its its part and really, really helped to, you know, bring that down. But there's still plenty of spam going on in comment sections. It's not fixed by any means. It's just been dramatically reduced. That's really all you can hope for when it comes to comments is dramatically reducing a problem. There's no way to completely eliminate it. People will find ways to work around it. That's just how it goes when you have such a massive population and an open box for text. How do you filter time codes? People put time codes in my comments section to refer to funny moments and things like that. There's no way to be able to algorithmically detect context for a time code of all things. So I guess the part that frustrates me is the attempt to whip up a media frenzy and go after and alarm advertisers and scare them into pulling their funds off site. It's let's let's work at this together. 
let's not uh, create this knee-jerk response that actually ends up hurting creators too by having their comments disabled. I don't like. I don't think that's the right way to go about doing it. Nobody out there who's had their comments disabled is happy about having that happen. I don't think any of them are like, "Oh, I'll, I'll bite this bullet for the greater good." No, it's like this. This isn't the proper way to solve the issue. And you know, the the tweet. There was a tweet that YouTube made that was saying specifically, if you have a particular kind of comments on your video. Your video can be demonetized for those comments or comments can be disabled. And that's that's the thing that everyone's referencing is being like really, really scared of it, establishing this precedent of you can just brigade a video and cause negative things to happen to that uploader when they can't control that. There's no way. And there are certainly things that uploaders can do on their part on their end, right? Like you can you can fill in the blocked word filter in your community section on your channel. You can put comments to approval only. And those are certainly best practices. If you do have a channel maybe that features children, maybe set your comments to being more approval based or have a stricter blacklist filter. Certainly things that you can aim for, but like that's again more on the uploader because YouTube on a massive scale can't manually do that for every channel and, and all their videos. It's just not really possible and I just would Hate to see YouTube turn into like this approved uploader only system. Wouldn't be YouTube anymore. It'd be approved tube. You have to be whitelisted in order to upload to the site, which would be really defeating the purpose. So I mean, I man, what do you just? I don't look. There are things that need to be worked on. I just don't like the trying to whip up a frenzy and not necessarily be more level-headed and and thought out like how can we work together on solving this issue but anyway here we are i uh i do hope that the comments issue keeps getting worked on but i, I really don't want for the the brigading thing to be a valid approach and i don't want people to just have their comments disabled or get demonetized simply based off of what's being said in comment sections on on videos anyway I guess one other thing is, you know, if you do see nasty comments on videos, you can certainly do your part as well to like downvote or flag them as spam um, in an effort to, you know, help keep the comments section clean yourselves. Uh, so that's certainly a, an additional resource is if everybody out there just I, I was able to identify every nasty, weird comment um, that they saw, then that would be a good way to, to help keep things clean. So. Anyway, I don't know what the perfect solution is, but I, I just don't think that it is to create some kind of crazy frenzy. And I just don't like to see when it comes back to hurt people who are doing nothing wrong and just out there making content and trying to, you know, have a community they can interact with in the comment section. And all of a sudden they're punished for that. So anyway, I just want to say, you know, I, I, YouTube hopefully will will figure this thing out. And uh, I just like, man. Uh, what's next after this? I'm sure that inside of YouTube, all the employees are like, all right, we got we got over this crisis. Oh, God, now here's the next one. Cool, never room to breathe. <laughs> oh, God. Well, anyway, uh, fingers crossed that, you know, the advertisers will come back after a little cool off period. Anyone who has jumped ship for the time being, I think most of our videos are like, okay, still, you know, it's we'll do our best in the comments section, but... I can't make any guarantees that there aren't going to be any mean comments on my videos, so I guess if you're looking for that guarantee, then then maybe don't advertise on me. I don't know, man. That's it. I guess, uh, whew, what a, what a world. And YouTube has this target on its back, and uh, it's crazy. Anyway, man, um, that's it for now. I guess uh, have a good one, and we'll hope for the best. I'll see you in the next videos. Feel free to comment while you can. <laughs> I'll see you later. Thank you.